If you've followed my channel for any length of time, you know I'm a big fan of Skydio. I think they make a great product, and I enjoy flying it. Recently, Skydio came up with a new firmware update. And in that firmware update, they added some new functions for us. You may remember me talking about keyframes last year. Well, they've now increased the functionality on that by adding something called Gimbal Roll, which I'll talk about in a minute. They've also added options for panoramas, both vertical, horizontal, and even spherical, and then something called low battery return to home. So if you're interested in those topics, stick around, I'll give you my thoughts. Skydio is really a cool company. Not only is it US based, but they make some really interesting drones, or one drone in particular, and I like using them. And this latest firmware update was kind of interesting. It added something called Gimbal Roll. Now, if you remember last year when we talked about keyframes, that was an option for setting particular points in space to have the drone do different things. Accelerate, decelerate, go up, go down, turn the camera, whatever you wanted. And that was a pretty neat feature since at the time, we didn't have waypoints available to us with DJI. That's since changed. Now what Gimbal Roll essentially allows you to do is act like a fighter pilot now. So if you're flying along in normal mode with a rise and stay still, if we use this Gimbal Roll, it allows the Gimbal to tilt and have that, that fighter pilot kind of uh, aspect to your pictures. Whether that's good or bad, I'll show you in a minute, we'll take a look at it. Secondly, they added panoramas. Now they give us the option of doing a very wide panorama, horizontal, a vertical panorama, or even a spherical panorama. And I want to walk through those with you a bit and show you how they're used. And finally, we've got something called a low battery return to home. So let's take a look and see how that works. Okay, I'm back out at our local field. We're ready to fly. Let's take off. Let's go ahead and gain a little bit of altitude here. I've got my screen recorder on the right. And the first thing we're going to notice is a note on height limited with poor GPS. Now, for some reason on the Skydio, you need to move back and forth a little bit to get GPS to lock. You can either do it manually or automatically. And you can see it's initiating GPS and finally get the GPS lock on it. Now we're going to move over to the keyframe option. Now, I won't spend a lot of time on this other than to show you on here under, under keyframe settings, the options we have. So the one thing we're going to look, back, look at is playback style. We've got a recorded free look and dynamic gimbal roll. We could choose dynamic gimbal roll. Now we're going to go through setting our keyframes just like we normally do. I'll speed this up so you don't have to sit through the whole thing. Now we finish our keyframes, we see at the bottom they're all listed there. If I hit play, the drone's going to move forward, but watch, we're following the path. As we come to each diamond here, which is our keyframe, notice how the horizon tilts. And that's tilting because of that gimbal roll option we have there. The only thing that bothers me about that is it's a little jerky, and it's jerky because of my control input on the sticks. And I thought really it would smooth that out. So I'm not extremely happy with that, but it does make the horizon tilt like it's supposed to do. And back to our home point. So now let's move on and go to panorama. We'll do the vertical one here in the first, and the switch is in progress. This is lining up what with the vertical panorama will be. The drone is positioning itself, and we want to make sure we click on vertical here. So we've got vertical. We're going to hit start. It's preparing by moving up and down. And now it's going to start capturing the photos. Now for the vertical one, it's going to take five individual shots and then stitch them all together. And 
And there we go. And there's our vertical panorama. And if we switch and go to horizontal panorama, it's going to go through the same process. There's a one, there's our picture. We can adjust it if we want to. And now it's going to take eight individual shots. It's preparing for them. And now it's capturing one, one of eight, two, and so on. There's our eight, it's gonna stitch them together, and there's our panorama. And then finally, we've got the spherical option. I'm gonna click on that, hit spherical. And the drone's gonna rotate on its own. There's setting up for the spherical shot. Okay, drone's preparing. It's starting to capture. Now look, we'll show the drone in the air. It's gonna to rotate to the position it needs to be and take several shots. It's doing 26 this time. 24 around as well as one up and one down. So it rotates, takes the shots it wants to, rotates again, and so on until it's got all 26 shots. So we're done here. Return home. And notice how it automatically lands on the logo on the box. The yellow circle around. I think that's pretty cool. But at this point, you don't shut the drone off. You have to leave it on. Because once we land, it's going to go ahead and go back through its calibration process. Now it's going to sync all the videos we took. And it's going to stitch the panoramas together. So you have to wait for all that to be completed before you turn the drone off. So there you go. What do you think? Well, I, I run kind of hot and cold on that keyframe edition there called Gimbal Roll. I don't know that it adds that much. I guess I'd hoped it would smooth it out better and take care of any of the jerks I had in my control sticks. But I guess it's probably kind of usable. Next video, I will compare that to DJI's new waypoint function and see if it's better or worse. So I'm kind of on the fence with Gimbal Roll. The uh, vertical and horizontal and spherical panoramas I think are really good though. And I think they're certainly usable. So let me know what you think on that. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And if you feel like sharing it with your friends, please do so. That would be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you so much for watching.